Lynch and plenty of laughs. Hold on tight for Tim, Jake, Colin and Neil. Welcome to The Blame Game, the show that does the news what Gregory Campbell's attack on BBC expenses does for our chances of a decent end of series party. <laughs> yeah, thanks Gregory, you couldn't wait until next week. Please welcome our Ministers of Fun, Colin Murphy, Jake O'Kane and Neil Delamere. special guest tonight was seen recently on Channel 4's Head Wreckers. She's just finished starring in a show she wrote along with her cousins Neve Tiernan and Tommy Tiernan. The show was called Nepotism. <laughs> Sorry, the show was called Help. <laughs> it's Eleanor Tiernan. <laughs> That's our lineup. Now on with the show. Members of the audience ask the questions and our panel provides some answers. So. Can we have our first question, please? Connell from Belfast. Who do you blame for elephants not being able to walk in Bangor? <laughs> Connell from Belfast. Yes, a circus has been reported to the Parades Commission. <laughs> <laughs> a circus has been reported to the Parades Commission for leading elephants through Bangor. Now, initially, people found the parade inoffensive but drew the line when the elephants burnt an effigy of the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> but who can we blame for elephants not being allowed to march through bank? You couldn't... You, and nowhere else in the world, there is nowhere else in the world you would have cops pull an elephant over to the side of the road. <laughs> How did the Bangor cops manage to pull a four-ton... You! Side of the road! <laughs> you! To go through the side of the road, <laughs> and right. Have you got your papers? Did the parade commission give you permission to write on... No, no you have Put them back in the trailer. Put them back in the trailer. <laughs> no, I think this is insane. No, I think the cops were ahead of the whole... They were... No, the cops weren't as mad as it may seem. If they had let this pass, if they had been just laissez-faire and let these elephants walk down the road in Bangor, as they have done everywhere else in the world for the last hundred years you've had circuses, you can guarantee <laughs> that next year, drum cream, <laughs> the 12th of July, <laughs> you will have three wee cardboard elephants rolling down the road <laughs> with 20 of the smallest arms men they could find hiding inside going, are we there, Willie? Are we there? Are we there, Willie? <laughs> You know. and the, and the, I love this. I read this this week. Real, insane as it may be, see when you have a heart attack, this, this, this does link in. Stay with me on this. When you have a heart attack, the CPR, you drop CPR, to get the rhythm right, you used to do Nelly the Elephant, because it was 103 beats a minute, and that uh, Nelly the Elephant went. <laughs> 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 Change it now. They want them to do the Bee Gees. <laughs> Staying alive. <laughs> no. Think about this. You're just. I have, I've, got a, I've got a history. My family's a history of dropping. 65. It's like clockwork. We drop. <laughs> boom! <laughs> boom! 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 You just had a heart attack and you're coming through, you're wavering between life and death, you're sort of getting somewhere there, and you're suddenly coming to, and there's this guy over you going, huh? 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 Stay alive. Stay alive. I'm not having to go with the cops because I'm felt getting pulled over by guys going to the <laughs> <laughs> flame game. Pull your car over, take your engine out and your wheels off, you're going nowhere. <laughs> Mention this, you have to, you've all heard this. Last week, or this week, whatever it was, there was a woman phoned by the police in West Belfast at a quarter to seven in the morning. She was phoned by the cops, and the cops said, Hello, 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 Mary, hello. I'll tell you what it is, love, right? <laughs> We've had a report here, there's a dead body down the bottom of your street, right? You wouldn't have a look for us, would you? <laughs> 
And the boys, boy scouts. I tell you no less. Boy scouts. That bastion of rules and growing up and having some sort of focus in life. I always thought boy scouts were a great idea. And now they're going to give them sex education. They're going to give boy scouts sex education. That was in the papers this week. They want to have boy scouts getting sex education. And the, one of the, the leaders are, should encourage the young person to resist the temptation to have sex, sex early. But if they do, they should be prepared to offer information. <laughs> so I wouldn't try the links. No, don't bother with links. Buy a wee half bottle of champagne <laughs> because you don't want to show them. They're going to and they give me badges. What's that going to be like? Who are going to get a badge for shagging? It's going to be a wee badge with a smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> So what, they're, what they're doing is that the scouts is they're bringing them on visits and trips to you know the way they go by camping they're bringing them on trips to sexual health clinics they're going to bring all these like 16 year old scouts all these boys to the sexual health clinic and they're going to sit them down with the doctor who's going to explain uh, this is a gingangulli and, uh, <laughs> well, it's a serious condition and this is a come by army lord mm -hmm, don't <laughs> It's a bit ridiculously alternative, a guy knocking at your door going, uh, I'm on uh, Bob Blowjob Week. But <laughs> 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 well, this is for the Cubs, and uh, I want to know if this is go more importantly going to be for the Beavers as well. <laughs> <laughs> well that's, you know, that's, that's a step too far, in my opinion. <laughs> As long as, it's the, as long as it's just sexual health to teach them, like not like fetishes or, or S and M or anything like that. Like you don't want to introduce a kid to bondage who can tie four hundred types of knots. Plastic bag, you're going, undo it, undo it. He's going, put the rabbit through the hole. Then. <laughs> I know this one, I know this one. There was a story about um, a public uh, that the police are going to be more lenient on people having sex in public, uh, and in particular the practice of dogging. Uh, lately, <laughs> but uh, I, I, I totally agree with this actually because I think that dogs should be allowed, two dogs should be allowed to have sex in any field that they want to. <laughs> <laughs> two cats yeah. as well. So where else are they going to do it? You know, yeah, 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 yeah that's, I think I was a step too far, I agree with you yeah. completely. I also, the, 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 this uh, cop wants uh, more uniformed police officers patrolling, dogging and cottaging areas. Because that's the last thing you need is a man in a uniform hanging around the toilets. Can you put a dog in jail if it if it gets arrested? I mean, you could you could put a donkey in jail. You could put a donkey, 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 donkey in jail. Put in jail in Egypt. There's a donkey put in jail in Egypt because it ate day. corn. Yeah. And imagine if you have to share a cell with a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> imagine being a donkey's bitch. That's gonna hurt. Like, <laughs> <so much. laughs> but but if, you, if you want to have a dirty protest, he is a lad to be with. <laughs> Because you're, everybody else is going, uh, freedom, and you're going, to whom it may concern. <laughs> so to go back to the parade, uh, the, 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 the poor elephants in Bangor who were stopped by, apparently by lower Bangor concerned residents. Were, <laughs> uh, there's another big parade that's out. Do you know why they were stopped? Because the elephants were marching through a predominantly hippopotamus area. <laughs> Yes, scouts are now to get sex education. In other changes, the naturalist badge will now be the naturist badge. The camping badge will become the Green Norton badge. And the water sports badge will no longer be offered. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me our next question, please. Hi there, I'm Daniel from Newton Ards. Who do you blame for being caught on camera? Thank you, Daniel from Newton Ards. Yes, the minister in charge of motor tax has been charged with having no motor tax. <laughs> Sammy Wilson said he didn't know he was doing anything wrong. Of course, ignorance is no excuse, which is a pity because Sammy really excels at ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> but who can we blame for being caught on camera? I love this country. This is fantastic. You get the Minister for Roads who has no motor tax. It's, a cre it's, like, it's amazing. It's just mental. It's like having a Minister for Finance who can't count or a, or a Minister <laughs> for Equality who is bigoted against gays. I mean, it's <laughs> mental. <laughs> What's next? Ex-terrorists wanting justice for... No! <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is crazy, and he said that 